it's Miss Lady Lace here on my Glamour channel and today I have for you a fabulous tutorial, review and a bit of a confession. For a long time I have been an avid tea drinker. I've been doing my Vintage Tea With Me series here on YouTube and it was once my favourite beverage but I've now converted to being a coffee drinker which is a little bit controversial as I find so many vintage lovers are really into their tea. But for Christmas I actually received the Smeg Coffee Maker from my amazing husband Mr. Dapper Matt and ever since then I have been a complete coffee addict. In the comments below let me know what is your poison. Are you a coffee drinker, a tea drinker or something else altogether? On Instagram I've been posting to my stories when I'm making coffee, just sharing a little video and I've had so many people asking me if I've been enjoying the Smeg coffee maker, what are my thoughts? So I thought I'd sit down today and make this video. I thought I'd start with a tutorial, give a demonstration on how it works and how functional it is, then give you a bit of a review and my final thoughts on how I'm finding the coffee maker. Now if it wasn't obvious, I am clearly loving this item. I mean, just look how beautiful it is. It's in this beautiful mint green colour which matches our other Smeg appliances perfectly. And it just has that beautiful mid-century style to it. So we'll get started with our tutorial. If you've bought this machine, I would recommend going through that user manual thoroughly and making sure it's all set up correctly before you get started in making your first coffee. So here we have the little setup. We are going to need our coffee machine as well as the accessories that come with this. We have our little coffee scoop, the little funnel that the coffee comes through. You'll of course need some ground coffee and milk to froth. A cup of some description. You can of course use your cute teacups for this and a jug to froth your milk in. So we'll get started with step one. We wanna make sure there's enough water in the back. So the water's held in this back section here. The top simply just clicks off and you can pour water in here. I just use a jug and I always make sure that's full before I get started. I have definitely learned the hard way. If there's no water in there, you're not getting any coffee. And then that just simply clicks back into place. Step two, we're gonna turn on the coffee machine. You wanna make sure it's plugged in and there's a little button just down here you want to click into place. Once that's on these little lights here are going to be flashing and once they stop flashing that means it'll be ready to start making your coffee. Step three we're going to grab some coffee so I'm going to take my measuring spoon and my little coffee funnel. I'm going to head over to my canisters which are cute and matching in mint as well. Today I'm just making a shot of coffee so I'm scooping out just about one little scoop here, popping it into my little friend here, tapping out any excess. Then I'm gonna take the bottom of my measuring spoon and I'm gonna stamp that into place until it's nice and flat in here. So I'm just placing that in here and then locking it into place like so. Ooh, so I just realized I wasn't filming, but for step four, I'm taking my cute coffee cup and I've just popped some sugar into that. I'm a sweet tooth, so I have used two scoops of sugar. Our cute cup is just going to slide under here, making sure that's nice and secure. We're then gonna activate our coffee machine. We're just using one shot, so I'm gonna click the one button here. We have the two for two shots, and then we have the steamer button here. So we're gonna click that down, and our magical coffee is going to be released for step five. Next we're gonna work on frothing our milk. So I've just popped some milk into here. I am just using this soy milk here, but the Coles brand Barista Soy Milk's also pretty good. You can use any milk that you prefer. This is generally my favorite to use and it's also pretty affordable. So for our frother, we just wanna have enough milk in here that we can get the nozzle to cover up that milk so we can activate the frothing action. So we have a little button here for frothing. We press that on. We're gonna pop this under and this lever here turns down and activates the frothing action. So we're gonna put this under here. We're going to turn on our frother. This bit is gonna be a bit noisy, but essentially I bob this up and down and tap the bottom to mix the milk around. And 
And essentially when it's quite warm to the touch on the bottom, that milk's ready. Just gonna wipe that down as we go. And I can then turn my coffee machine Okay, so we're up to step eight. I usually just take a little bit of time to stir in my sugar. Then I'm going to take my spoon and hold this over the edge and pour the milk into the cup. And when this gets to the top, I pour it out and just let some of the froth come out in this action. And that's our coffee ready to enjoy. So delicious. So what do I think of the Smeg coffee maker? I absolutely love it and it's one of the best things I own and it's a gazillion times better than instant coffee. Before this I would just have instant coffee on occasion and it was okay. After I got the coffee machine though, tea has gone out the door. My new favorite morning drink is to have a coffee. The coffee machine is pretty easy to use. I have never made like a proper coffee before. I've only ever made instant coffee. So functionally, it's pretty easy, easy to clean, easy to maintain. It does take a little bit longer to make your coffee in the morning, but I am more than happy to get up a little bit earlier to get me a cup of joe. Now I must state that this is not a cheap coffee machine. Machine. I did a quick Google search before I made this video and the absolute cheapest I could find was it was about 470 AUD so that is rather expensive. If you are a coffee lover and you're buying coffee regularly this will definitely be a little bit cheaper in the long run rather than buying your five to seven dollar coffee several times a week instead you can make it at home or make a travel mug to go so it's definitely a good investment if that suits you. Would I have purchased this coffee machine for myself? It was quite expensive so so it's something that wouldn't have been at the top of my list but now having tried it and having it in the house it's definitely something I'd want and I'm just so thankful that Matthew got it for me for Christmas. Above all I think the Smeg coffee machine is just so beautiful it fits the house so well I'm very much about curating a beautiful space and I think the Smeg coffee machine just fits in perfectly with our home so today's video was a little bit different I would love to know your feedback in the comments below I hope you still enjoyed it I hope you still had a little bit of fun if you'd like early access to my videos exclusive content and to help support me making videos here on YouTube I now have my glamour community on patreon I'd like to thank all my patrons but especially my my VIP Glamour patrons, I'll list them here. The support I receive truly helps me creating more here on YouTube. If you'd like to follow my daily pinup adventures, I post super regularly to Instagram. I'll pop a little link here as well as at the end of the video. And to never miss out on my vintage fun, be sure to hit that subscribe button below and I will be seeing you all real soon.